Hello everyone and welcome to a new you with Timmy the teacher. I am Timmy the teacher and today's show is about schemes and things. <laughs> Well, I want to begin by saying that there are a lot of honest business people out there. However, every now and then we run into an unscrupulous person who is um, not so honest. I hired this guy to build a website via this well-known company. We negotiated the terms and conditions via email. We talked about payment arrangements and how the payments would be dispersed over a period of time after the completion of a certain part of the work. After months of his disappearing and reappearing, the site was eventually up and running. He also offered to host the site for the life of the site, which sounded like a great idea to me. My site was up and running for about one and a half months and then it went down due to what he called a virus. I contacted the web designer to find out what the problem was and he then contacted the hosting company. I was told there was a virus and of course that means I need to give him more money so that he can fix the problem. However. That sounded a little fishy to me, so I decided to contact the hosting company directly and found out that there were no problems with his site. And in the process of finding that out, I realized I was stuck between a rock and a hard place. I was not a member of the host company, so therefore I did not have a password. I did not have any customer code, customer number or anything, so I had no access to that information. So these are the things that I have learned and I want to share them with you so that if you are contacting someone to build a website on your behalf, then these are some of the steps that you can follow. Apparently during my research, I found that this is a growing problem and I have a friend, smart businesswoman, who had a similar problem. So here are some steps to take to protect yourself in the event that you to run into an unscrupulous web designer. Number one, always get the terms and conditions in writing. Include a completion date or a delivery of service date. And number two, make sure you know the name of the hosting company and make sure you have direct access to your account. Meaning you need to have login information, password information, and so on. And if you want more tips along these same lines, please check the website, newfitworldtv.com. In parting, always remember, financial success is not a gift, it is a habit.